The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the December 20th, the Fantastic Friday edition of today's Trader's Edge. Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's sign up. Let's make sure we have a great one. The easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two-by-four shift, it means we can find the gift. In every set of circumstance, that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But much more important than that, during this next 60 minutes, it's all about you. That's right. I'd love to hear from you. you can give me a call at 877-927-6648. We'll take a look at your instrument, whether you're in the trade or not. If you're just surfing around, I'll give you the best uh, view from uh, several different time frames. Of course, if you can't call in, we've got you covered there, too. You can send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Inside that subject heading, please put radio show question, of course, any ping in our Tiger's Den. So let's go ahead and get to it on uh, this fantastic Friday. Of course, this is Tiger. Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to La Show. Uh, guys in the den, let me know if the uh, charts are being posted here. But right now, we just are the main screen. We can see that all the indices are in the uh, green. Uh, everything trading higher. Spot volatility only down seven pennies. I say only down seven pennies because uh, at 1243, it's still not below the low from about four trading sessions ago. And so we still have that little rising bottoms pattern that uh, we had referred to yesterday. Uh, if we take a look at what's moving to the upside out here, dollar-wise, stock-wise, Booking Holdings is the leader, 17 points. Transdigim Group is up 14, 10x genomics. Genomics up 11 or 19 percent. Karuna Therapeutics, that's up uh, 10. Biorad Labs up 9. To the downside, it is Stealth. Stealth uh, Biotherapeutics Corp off uh, $9, 63%. Yikes. Uh, ABIO Med, never know how to pronounce that, down about seven. CarMax off about six. F5 Networks down four. So we did have a great, thanks guys. Appreciate that. We did have a couple of requests that came in late yesterday. Let's just get straight to those. We had Dave in California, and Dave was interested in ticker symbol STZ, that is Constellation Brand. So here's the daily, weekly, and monthly time frame. And we can see that today, price is uh, right now trading above the top of its daily bear structured profile. So that's a beautiful thing. That is at 187.30 and suggests that price is going to move higher. Now, volume today, about 563,000 shares. The B point of this A to B equals CD had more volume, 1.1 million. So it seems like it may be light in the loafers, so to speak, uh, but we don't care. It's holiday trading. You know, if I, most most of the guys that I know in New York, they're basically gone, checking in the office and so forth. So um, so we won't get too hung up into the volume metric. What we will say is that, hey, you close above the top of a bearish structured profile. That can suggest a change in trend on the daily basis. You're inside the weekly box. Now, that's bullish in structure. Uh, that center line at 186.72, closer to the bottom than it is to the top. And so it close above 186.72. You're 188.61 right now which suggests price could make its way up to the top of that profile. That would be 199. There is a little bit of resistance. It is the bottom of that monthly profile, 189.64. So that's really the next key resistance area. If we take a look at Stevie's other charts out here, look for tops, bottoms, or resistance. We've got 193.97. When the STZ, Constellation Brands, made its bottom out here, it was with a uh, TD9 count. 
you got to love it with bar number eight being the uh, low out there. So looks like 193.97 is in the bag as long as price closes above the top of that daily profile out there. From a weekly standpoint, let's go see what it says to us. The weekly the weekly chart says yeah uh, yeah yeah it says price has made its way right up to resistance. If this is resistance, that's Stevie's red line. Now, on a weekly basis, we can also see a TD setup nine count, also done on bar number eight. If this is only a counter trend rally, this is where price uh, stops basically right here, right now, give or take, uh, because price is trading right in now. If price can close over this area, which is about where it's trading right now, so not by a penny or two, then that would say that you could make that run for 210. So you're at that counter trend rally resistance level on the uh, weekly chart and a close above this area, you know, say 189s or so, that would be uh, that would be positive and suggest that the move should continue higher. From a monthly standpoint out here, uh, we mentioned that uh, price was below the bottom of its daily profile. I don't really have anything here to add from a monthly chart. We can see that nice bottom that formed out here in uh, January of this uh, year out here, but like many of the uh, stocks. So that uh, is uh, Constellation Brands STZ. That's what I see when we take a look at the charts. That was for Dave in California. John in Sarasota want to take a look at a couple of instruments out here. The first one is WLL. Uh, let's go see what WLL is. Doesn't ring a bell, but uh, doesn't matter. That is Whiting Petroleum. Whiting Petroleum above the daily profile. So that is a short term bullish in between the bullish structure weekly profile above that center. Says 787 is likely where this is headed to. And on a monthly basis, it is below the bottom. So let's go take a look at the daily time frame chart. See if there's any resistance out here, any topping signals. And voila, there is. So this thing here made a uh, TD nine count top right below resistance resistance was where this had last broken down that was at seven dollars and thirty cents out here so this is stuck between resistance and support in the case of support you've got the top of its profile 638 then you've got stevie's red line right around the 585 ish type area out here so uh john if you're asking me what we see in whiting petroleum on the shorter term meaning daily time frame looks to me like we're going to see either a sideways move or maybe a pullback to support out here, uh, but not a breakout. Uh, when we take a look at the $7.30 level, that is a real key area. That is where price had broken down. On a weekly time frame for Whiting Petroleum, let's go take a look at it. Uh, this forms a, a TD setup nine count bottom, a Rhodes momentum indicator signal, but no bullish reversal candle yet. So uh, 826, by the way, on the weekly basis is a resistance level out there. So um, ideally over the course of the next couple weeks, you get some type of uh, weekly uh, candle that closes to the uh, downside, and then maybe you get that bullish reversal signal. On a monthly time frame out here, is there anything that we can see inside of Whiting Petroleum? Uh, yeah, price is moving lower, doing less relative energy. Let me just update this chart here. And you've got a, a bullish candle, but the month is not over. So, John, I think you are playing in the right sandbox. You've gotten that first move out here. Yes, it's above those daily profiles, but we know we have that resistance level at uh, 730. So, look Look for some type of retracement, and especially if it's moving lower into support with some lighter volume out there, um, then that becomes your buy. Right now, if you're asking me where that buy point is, right around the $5.80 area. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. You got the uh, Dow up 127 S&P 18. Uh, John is here, so I also want to take a look at uh, Disney. Ticker symbol there is DIS. As we take a look at it, we can see that price is testing uh, key support, the bottom of its daily profile, trading just above it. That's 146.77. You're 147.17. In between the weekly profile out there, price had tested and rejected the uh, center line of that uh, box, and you're above the uh, above the monthly. Let's go take a look at my other chart. See if there's any topping signals out here inside of Disney. Let's remember, price has made its way back to support and it is held. And voila, there you go. You've got a Rhodes momentum indicator uh, pattern out here. You've got your required bearish reversal candle. That was a bearish engulfing candle that formed out here on the trading day of um, December the uh, 2nd and price has made its way down to support. So that is held. If price is able to bust through this 146.77 area, John, then Disney could make its way down to 130.51 one, that is where it last broke out. That's what the daily time frame chart is telling us. Let's go look at the weekly time frame chart. Is there any problem in um, Disney? And well, so you've got a uh, weekly uh, Rhodes momentum indicator top also forming with a bearish engulfing candle and price has now pushed its way down to support that is Stevie's green line. So here, John, the real key level to be watching is 145.52. Look, right now it is support that is held, but you've got two topping patterns, daily and weekly. This is the conundrum that we are in when we take a look at many of the indices out there, although some of these patterns were resolved earlier with today's move higher uh, in the indices, but in the case of Disney, that is not the case. Now, on a monthly basis out here, as we take a look at Disney, price has also been moving higher, doing less relative energy out here. But we're just simply going to rely right now on that weekly time frame. So, John, uh, you've got your number, Stevie's green line on the weekly. Watch that. If that level of uh, if that level fails to hold the support, then uh, price would be headed lower. The next target to the downside, 141.08 on that weekly chart, that would be the bottom 
of its profile. So thanks for taking the time to write in. The next question was from Jay in the Tiger's Den. Jay asking, are there any new profiles? Nothing that I have, Jayster. Uh, nothing on the ES, the NQ, the YM, or the RTY. So nothing that, that I have uh, for the equity futures contracts. Maybe we get something early next week. There is a new profile that uh, was forming or is forming or is at least trying to form. Don't worry, I'll get it out. And that one is coming from LightSuite Crude. Now, here in LightSuite Crude, I'm using my synthetic contract. That's okay. But what we can see is, so we, we've seen a bit of a pullback in LightSuite Crude, uh, but uh, no big deal. Uh, when I say no big deal, no big deal because there's no levels of support that have been broken. And here you've got a profile with the top of that box being 6140, the bottom being 5937, and the center line of this box at 6005. It would require a close below 5937 to suggest um, that there's a further retracement or maybe some type of change in trend out there. So that's the only new profile that really bounced out at me as I was just surfing around uh, Jay. And so why? Voila, that is where we're at. If we're wondering why is price, you know, what's price doing in the uh, futures contracts out here, um, because we don't have profiles, we just simply go to those primary trading range levels. Here we can see the Dow, this is the Dow Equity Futures contract, running right in this 28,560-ish area. That is its weekly horizontal trading range, so we know that the Dow is up towards a resistance level. The NQ, the same thing. The NQ is up at its weekly horizontal horizontal resistance level at 82, 87.29. Right now you are trading at 87.14. The ES Mini has a little bit further to run before it runs into resistance. That would be its weekly uh, horizontal trading range at 32.53. But two of the three are in a resistance area a resistance zone. Uh, let's go to our next question out here. This one coming in from uh, Johnny D. Johnny D wants to take a look at UNG. Johnny from North Carolina. So if we take a look at UNG, which we'll do, um, I don't know what you're looking at it for. I'm going to guess it's for a long trade out there. That's the ETF for natural gas. And we really would need to see which contracts are actually make up the UNG. Um, I'm going to go look at January, but I doubt it's January. We begin rolling out of that here shortly. Um, so when I take a look at the UNG, what I'm really going to do, Johnny, is go take a look at the natural gas contract. I'll take a look at the January uh, right now. And in today, if you can get natural gas to close above two dollars and thirty one cents, it's at two thirty three right now. Then it's 231, by the way, is Stevie's red line. And that's really the level that price needs to close above to suggest that there's a further rally. There's an A to B equals CD to the downside. For Stevie's uh, purposes, this A to B equals CD to the downside was not confirmed until the bullish reversal candle formed. That was on the trading day of December the 16th. The problem is, is that what knocked back price on that day was Stevie's red line. And that price has rejected that level. And this is the first time where we may get a close. May because the trading session is not over. So watch $2.31 if, Johnny, you see a close above that. And if uh, you see a second close above that come Friday, this is suggesting price would move higher. Now, move higher to where? That's a great question. For that, what I would do is go back to the profile levels out here. So let me go ahead and pull out those profiles for uh, natural gas. And uh, you can take a look at the uh, daily time frame. The daily time frame would say price would get up to about 240 to 247. 240 happens to be the center of its daily uh, profile, and this is a bearish structured box, so it may just be about 240 out there. So if you're long, UNG, right now everything looks okay, um, but you'll want to watch natural gas as it approaches the 240 to possibly 247 level. So, Johnny, best of luck with that trade. Hope that helps you out. Merry Christmas to you as well. Tim writes in, and Tim wants to take a look at TAP. I believe that that is Coors Brewing out there. So let's go take a look at it. TAP is the ticker symbol out here, and that's an excellent uh, ticker symbol for a beer company. This is trading out at 54.85 today. Nice move today. Price is uh, well above the top of its daily box. This was a bearish structured box, and uh, price moved above it um, back on the, uh, well, the last time that there was a test of the top of that box was December 16th. If you take a look at the weekly, weekly out here is right now trading above the top of the weekly profile, 54.59. So from a weekly perspective, that is 
uh, intermediate term bullish. And the monthly is inside the box, suggesting a move up to 58.58. It's trading at 54.84. Let's go take a look at the daily time frame using my other charts out here. What do we see? Uh, we don't see much here in day number five of a TD setup nine count. Uh, so this is just suggesting, okay, uh, when this thing can continue to move higher for at least another three or four days out there. Not that it can't move higher beyond that, but that's if it does that consecutive closes where each close is above the close four bars earlier, that could be identifying some type of top. I don't see anything here on the weekly time frame to assist us more so than what we had before. But, you're, you know, you're closing above that weekly profile, so that looks pretty good. On the longer term, the monthly time frame chart for cores, what is this telling us? Price has been moving lower, doing less relative energy. It's got a bullish engulfing candle. If it can close above 53.55, that's suggesting that this is trying to make a longer term bottom. That is a cores brewing. It looks like to me this may also have made, did it? Yeah, no, it did not. It did not make wave number seven. This month's bar got a little bit lower, um, but it looks good. Uh, so uh, this is for Tim. Where do I see an entry? Oh boy. Tim, we'll cover that as soon as we get back. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, folks. Hey, uh, join me Monday morning, if you will, at 8 o'clock. I'll be recording Monday show between 8 and 9 here. And so join me for a, a cup of joe or maybe a nice uh, hot chocolate or cold chocolate or just any kind of chocolate. Well, make sure it's dark chocolate out there. But uh, please join me on uh, Monday morning, 8 o'clock. Uh, for the uh, live uh, taping out there, uh, of course you can always send me questions. Wait till wait till Monday morning or Sunday night, though. Um, so back to tap, back to Molson out here. So I don't have a great entry price. As we take a look at, I can tell you that if price is able to close above the top of the weekly box, there's a good chance that price will come back and test the top of that area, 54.59. That's only, you know, it's not that far away from where it's trading right now. So it's not like that entry point point's going to be much better than just buying it right now. The daily is taken up. The daily chart, and the daily profiles are really something to take a look at because this is this is where these profiles are really helpful because when price is able to break above the top of a profile, here, let me just expand the daily time frame out here and uh, uh, inside of uh, tap. So it breaks above it, it, closes above it on December the 9th. And then this was a bearish structured profile. If there's a move back into the box, it's typically where it will find support is where those buyers were, which was at the center line, right? There's both buyers and sellers at that center line, 5078. And, and you saw that on the trading day of December 10th, a test of that level and a rejection pretty close to it on the 11th. A definite test of that on the 13th. And those were really your entry point areas. Um, for that, and now it's taken off, uh, you know, above that, and so I don't really have a great entry point uh, for you, other than saying 54.59. But if I'm saying 54.59, what's wrong with 54.90? Average true range, a dollar three. Make sure your stop is well outside of the dollar three. Robert writes in. Robert wants to take a look at BKCC, looking for a longer term entry on this. So let's go take a look at BKCC, see what it is. Uh, first, that is a BlackRock Capital. This is moving lower. This is trading below the daily profile. Back inside the weekly profile, the weekly profile gives you two levels of potential support out here, Robert. The first is 482. The second is 470. So let's go take a look at this on the other chart, see what we can see that this top with any kind of a pattern out here. And we can see the bottom that formed. So the bottom, the rose momentum indicator bottom out here, the uh, bullish engulfing candle after that low on November. November the 1st. Uh, price made its way and where it found resistance is where it should have. Uh, in this case here, it was the second level of resistance where price had broken down at 519. That's that green horizontal line. Nothing that I drew in. The system automatically drew it in because it knows where prices break out or break down. Um, you're looking for a longer term entry out here. Uh, let's go take a look at the weekly chart, see what we can see on the weekly time frame. So on the daily, we're, we're uncertain with regard to your entry point. So let's go take a look at the weekly, see if there's something that uh, sticks out at us. Um, 483 is a level, but I'm not sure about that. I think what you need to do, what, what we should do is really monitor this on the way down. If we look at the monthly, this is not good. When I say this is not good, if you take a look at what's transpired this month, a test and rejection of Stevie's red line, that's at 501. That's after forming the longer term monthly Roads momentum indicator top. So I'd, what I'd really do, uh, Robert, you're asking for an entry price. I would wait for this to prove itself to you. Now, the problem is on the monthly chart, you need a monthly closing above Stevie's red line at 501. So if it starts getting above that, the quite, and it's the beginning of the month, you've got to start saying, you know, all right, so now what? You know, now what do I do? Because certainly during the month, price was above it. But right now, at December the 20th, price is back below, and that is uh, saying a further retracement. Well, if it's a further retracement, uh, 470 is the number I would go with right now, uh, but I continue to monitor the daily chart looking for some type of pattern. Today is going to be bar number five of a TD setup nine count, so maybe it's about uh, four uh, trading sessions from now. So, Robert, I hope that helps you out. Thanks for writing in. Uh, phone lines are open. Email lines are open. Looks like we've gotten to everything. So let's just go surf around and uh, see what we can see on the uh, charts. Now, I had mentioned to you earlier about the spot VIX index. So let's go take a look at it. Spot VIX index that we want to uh, pay attention to uh, right here, 1214. So you're, if you're taking a look at the, this is a closing basis, the bottom panel of the chart, December 16th, 
the low on the, uh, the close on the spot was 1214. Right now it's trading out at 1246. So we have rising prices in the S&P and a rising bottoms pattern still inside the spot volatility. Now look, if price closes below 1214 today or Monday, it will invalidate this pattern, but as long as the pattern remains, you should be aware of it. You want to be aware of it because in the face of rising price and a rising bottoms pattern, that's where we see some types of retracements or some types of tops form. When is that likely to occur? Well, if it's going to occur, it likely doesn't occur until the New York Stock Exchange advanced decline oscillator. That's the difference between its 19 and 39 period exponential moving average of the advanced decline data. And so we're looking for that oscillator to get up to the plus 150 area. Now, does it have to get right up to 150 and close there? No, it's at 127 right now. But ideally, that's what we would see. Now, if there's a close above 150, what that does is that suggests that we should should see higher prices in the future. Doesn't tell us how many days in the future, how many months in the future, just that we should. That's the basic reading. But on the other hand, if we see a turn down, if we see a turn down now or we see a turn down right at that 150 level, then what we're going to get, if we're going to get it right here, we're going to get, we could, we could in the New York Stock Exchange get that uh, plus 150 failure. It's what Stevie likes to look at it as. And if you take a look at those red, arrows on the uh, top panel of the screen, which is the New York Stock Exchange, you can see what transpired when you got to that 150 failure area out there. So it's something that you're going to want to pay attention to. I'm going to want to pay attention to it. So we are going to pay attention to it. But let's just uh, keep so you got the plus 150 potential fear. By the way, everything looks very healthy, so to speak, inside the New York Stock Exchange. What do you mean by that, Jelly Bean? I mean, if we take a look at the advanced decline line, we'll just simply punch this up on the chart. That now is panel number two. You're at a new all-time high as we speak right now today. So that is looking good. If we take a look at the uh, volume for the New York Stock Exchange, that too is at a new all-time high. So the market looks pretty healthy. But you know, even healthy people get sick out there. So instead, let's just pay attention to those small little morsels, the small little morsels such as that rising VIX index, on a closing basis, whoops, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Right there. Uh, the closing uh, VIX with rising price in the S&P 500. Let simply pay attention to that. What else is that we want to uh, look for? Uh, take a look at uh, Treasury bonds out here. Well, how do we go from the VIX to the Treasury bonds? We just did. It, hang around me enough. You'll you'll see some zigs and zags. You'll see that serpentine move. Uh, from that uh, movie, The In-Laws, right? Wasn't that the, I think that was the movie out there? But here's what we know. Here's where these uh, lines, these these TD nine count breakout and breakdowns are so helpful to us. Right now, you've got the formation of a hammer candle inside the 30-year treasury. And where's that hammer candle? Hammer candle means it's trying to hammer out a bottom. Where's that occurring? Right at the breakout level, 155.17. Price right now in between support, 155.17, and resistance, Stevie's red line. But it looks like T-bonds want to hold this area and maybe could bounce as high as the 160 level. Right now, it looks like a solid bottom at breakout support. We'll be right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in a Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. 
If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, right now, we've got the Dow up 123. S&P is up 17. And uh, let me get my mouse back. That'll make it a little bit easier here. No questions. Uh, we've got... Uh We've got, uh, we've got a, a nice long segment here of eight minutes. So inside the den, if you want me to take a look at something, now would be a, a great time to uh, tell me what uh, what you'd like. Just go ahead and punch that in. You can always send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. And, of course, you can always reach me by uh, phone at 877-927-6648. Here we go. I've got my mouse back. So what do we want to do here with our time? What do we want to do? Um... What do we want to do out here? What is it that I can share with you that would be helpful? So we've looked at uh, natural gas. We looked at light sweet crude uh, gold. You know, there's not a whole heck of a lot going on there. It's off three bucks, uh, but no big deal. If we take a look at uh, Goldilocks out here, what are you going to see? Really just sideways-ish type moves. Um, in fact, let me just do this here. Let me go back. Let's take a look at uh, pull up gold, but let's do this on a weekly uh, basis out here. The weekly time frame, uh, the Apogee pivot point. What's the deal? Why is this taking so long? Why is this taking so long? Doesn't make any sense to me. Um, but we're going to uh, see if this thing will do its thing out here. Come on, what are you doing? Wow. I don't know. Hey, as long as we're waiting here, folks, you know, there you guys could help me out with uh, gals and guys. You could, you could all help me out with something. Who, who should I take in my football pool this afternoon? Hey, game start. We got uh, what? Sixteen minutes. Sixteen minutes. Do I take Buffalo or Charlotte? Buffalo is the favorite. It's favored by a touchdown out here. And, uh, and I, have, I have not seen either of these teams play. And then at 7 o'clock or 7.30, we got Kent State and Utah State. I've taken Utah State. They're about a six-and-a-half or a touchdown favorite out there. I pretty much took Charlotte. But uh, in any event, uh, Buffalo. Buffalo wins big, Jimmy D. Uh, expand on that a little bit more, would you? Uh, you know, because uh, I've got the opportunity to change my picks if I, if I need to. But in the meantime, let's go out to uh, Jupiter and speak with uh, Bill. Bill, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you? Good, Steve. How about yourself? Very good. Very good. Uh, you want to take a look at uh, gold, I guess. 
Yeah, well, GLD in particular, Steve, I have a, a, an option trade on now. So I just want to get your thoughts on GLD. Okay, so I uh, tell me what you tell me what you're gunning for. What is it that you're looking at? Well, I, I actually I, I bought puts and I bought calls. I bought the 139 puts and 139 calls. So okay. I'm, I'm hoping we get some movement one side or the other on GLD. So that's what I was trying to actually show um, you was, uh, let me try doing it like this. Give me one second here. Um, let me try to. Let me try to pull up my synthetic contract for you. So, uh, and what I want to do, oh, that, did, that didn't work. You, you know, uh, the, those of us here at TFN, uh, Bill, we went to this uh, typing school, and, and <laughs> basically, when we graduated, none of us knew how to type. And so, and, and you get to see our fingers do that all day long. So, uh, um, okay, so here's the weekly chart. Uh, and what I'm going to do here is, you know, for really the past six weeks, with the exception of last week, just small bodied candles out here. It's just like somebody has got their thumb on this. And so I don't know if you're going to really, when, when is it that you need to see the movement by? I have January 3rd. Puts in January gold. 3rd. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there, there is not anything that that I have tools to 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 really. I mean, the it, it, this is just simply, you know, it's unusual behavior out here. Um, the last time we saw something like this looks like was down here between April of uh, 2019 and in May for about six weeks as well. Now their um, price went ahead and took off to the upside. Will take off to the upside this time? I don't know. I This gold has got, you know, on the GLD chart as an example, let me just pull up the weekly time frame chart up here. You know, it shows like gold does. Uh, it shows the Rose momentum indicator top out here. Um, so that's something to pay attention to. If we take a look at the daily, the same thing. I'm sure when I pull this over here, give me a second. I know the gold does. Yeah, here, the GLD, top of the Rhodes momentum indicator pattern. Um, uh, and I just, uh, so I, I just, I don't have anything, Bill, to really help you other than to say uh, it's going to move, but I don't know when. And I don't know that I don't know that by January 3rd, you know, what's going to move it? What What's going to really move gold in your opinion? So when you took this trade, any any other thoughts be, you know, as to why why you were expecting gold to move? Uh, Steve, in listening to you and Larry and others, I mean, I, I, I think gold is is gold not potentially ready to break out to the upside. I mean, we're, it's certainly finally begun to move a bit higher, to come out of that malaise and that, you know, in that uh, 40 area. It's moved up into the 80s. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking gold is finally beginning to move and move to the upside. Now, I have a, a spread, so it doesn't matter. I win if it goes down. Sure. I win if it goes up. But my, my bias was certainly thinking that maybe it's going up in the in the near future yeah so my bias is that things are just moving sideways right now and they have been for a while <laughs> and so there's yeah. so there's there's you know like that's what i know when i take a look at the uh, charts out here is this getting ready to bust out to the upside if it does and so that has to be defined what is bust out to the upside i think gold could move up to 1497 but to me that's not busting out to the upside if anything, I believe gold is getting ready for another big move to the downside. When that starts, I don't know, but um, I, that, that's what I see. I see a series of, in every currency, uh, lower highs and lower lows in gold. And so all we, you know, so that, 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 that's what I see at this stage when I take a look at it. I don't see gold busting out to the upside, not yet. Okay, no, and the downside is is fine with me as well, Stephen. But I don't see I don't see I don't see that right now either. It, 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 it is yeah. it's really sideways, isn't it? I mean, it's been sideways for some time. I I think so. I mean, if you just simply you know, if I go all the way back to the other chart that I pulled up and I change it from a uh, 
from a candlestick chart, uh, and I just changed this to a line chart out here, uh, it probably is even more, oh, whoops, that was, that was a histogram. Where the heck did that come from? Uh, you know, it, this is this is really unusual action out here. Uh, when I say that, you know, here, there, there's your range inside of gold for a six-week period of time. So on this chart here, as we had pointed out, the only other one that I can find like this takes us back to where it did form a bottom. But at that stage here, price was already moving higher, and that was a retracement. And so there it's easy to make the case it was getting ready to bust out to the upside. Here we've got the opposite. Okay, Bill? No, great, Steve. Very good. Thanks very much. You bet. You bet. Happy holidays, too. That was Bill yes, in you as Jupiter. Well. Thank you very much. We'll be right back, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, don't uh, forget, uh, Monday morning, uh, join me at 8 o'clock. I'll be recording Monday's show from 8 to 9. We'll take a look at the futures markets, try to figure out what transpired over the uh, between Sunday at 6 and 8 a.m. Uh, two questions in here. Clinton wants to take a look, wants to know where Stevie's green line is. That's at 1773. That red line turned green yesterday. Price should catch up to that level over the course of the next several days. There's resistance. First level at 1805, then at 
1832.57 out here. Did form a nice roads momentum indicator bottom signal back on October the uh, 3rd, but prices failed to take out key resistance. That would be 1832. So there's your answer, Clinton. Tim writes in, wants to take a look at OLP. Let's go take a look at OLP, see what that is. The question is, where is a good place to enter? Um, so this is just consolidating sideways. When we take a look at this daily time frame chart, so the entry point is going to be around 2676. Uh, that is the uh, TD setup breakout area. You do have support at 2721. I don't have anything to suggest that price is going to make its way down there. It's just trading sideways. You ask the question, where is a good entry price? It would always be towards the bottom of the consolidation. So between, between let's say, uh, as low as 26 and a quarter to 2679 uh, would be the area that I would be looking at for an entry point in OLP. At least that's what the daily time frame says. Let me just uh, pull over the weekly very quickly here, see if there's anything new there. And the answer is no, there's nothing there. So just a consolidation, sideways consolidation, Tim. And you're always best on those consolidations to enter at or towards the bottom. So folks, thanks so much for being here. It's been a great week. Uh, next week, obviously, holiday, holiday trading. We're already into holiday trading right now. So uh, join me on Monday from uh, from uh, 8 to 9. That'll be recording. Obviously, you've got Christmas Eve. The next day, markets close at 1. Uh, so uh, if uh, I don't see you on Monday, I want you to have a uh, Merry Christmas. Uh, have a safe weekend. And uh, I'll see you on the uh, 26th, if not 8 o'clock on Monday. Take care. Have a great weekend.